In this Let's Play live stream at Mahjong time, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you're new to American Mahjong, there are links in the video description below to some fundamentals. That way you can learn just the basics. And there are also playlists for skill builders and strategy. You're more than welcome to watch this live stream. See what the game is like. And if you haven't played at Mahjong Time yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information about the VIP trial. 30-day VIP trial. Welcome to the live stream. Happy Friday. Yes, it is. It is a happy Friday. Can you hear me okay? Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Josie. Oh, I haven't seen you in a little while. Good to have you here. Can everybody hear me okay? Oh, let's post that we're going live now on Facebook. Well, we're not live on Facebook, but I say we're live over on YouTube. We're live on YouTube, but some people join through Facebook. JL, hi. Hi, Mary, welcome. We're gonna go ahead and join a table. Let's, I like the seven second auto or escape with me. I like escape with me. It sounds nice. Play Mahjong and escape with me. I love that. I wonder if Slava made that up. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Cindy, welcome. Janet. Okay, sound is good. Thank you, JL. Hi, Diane, welcome. Oh yes, we are waiting for, I just, oh my goodness. I, at, I was editing videos, cause I'm, it's during my batch period, my po, uh, production period where I do batch filming. And so I was editing videos and then at like three o'clock I thought, oh my gosh, I need to go to Costco. I love their salmon. So I go there to get salmon and bulk steak, bulk foods and potty pads for my dog. So I thought, oh, I gotta hightail it over there if I'm gonna get back in time for the live stream. And I just, I got done with my hair and makeup a just a couple minutes early, so I went live and it all kind of worked out great. My husband was home, helped with the groceries, so all is good in the house of Prezel. Okay, loud and clear, no, no loins. Loins, what are loins? Hi, Lorraine. <laughs> Kathleen, no loins? <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, we have all singles. We got to pick something here. One, two, three, one, five. I'm thinking little odds. So let's ditch the big numbers and focus on little numbers. Incidentally, I've been working on a new strategy. And actually, some people might already do this, but... I'm still working through the details. Let me know if you're interested. Okay, we have our first multiple, one. So we're gonna discard these big numbers. Let's let the six, eight, nine go here. Hi, oh, Debbie, Diane, hi, welcome. Hi, Karen. Welcome to the live stream. Autocorrect. <laughs> Kathleen. Oh, that dras, dras, dratted. Oh, auto. Yeah. Okay. So 135, I think, is what we're going to do here. We have a lot of 135, but we also have 12. 1223. I'm thinking 135. Here we have a 2. We might have. Oh, we can pass blind. I really don't like passing like numbers. So let's do the two crack for now and see what happens. Okay, Karen says she's interested. All right. So, oh, we got keepers. One five. We're playing little odds of some kind here. We're not picking a hand till we run out of discards. So we have two twos though. 
one three one three five concealed maybe and that will allow us to let's see one 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 we definitely should keep going i'm thinking one three one three five let's see i don't think i would try the pair hand here we don't have a three crack let's do let's pass two dot five bam and then a one crack maybe focus on the concealed hand okay one two one two three oh one two one two three that might have worked let's see if it comes back we have tiles to pass so let's see if it comes back one two one two three yeah that sounds good harriet okay um carol says hi michelle and everyone here on uh here tonight interested in new strategy okay excellent new uh love strategy thank you diane okay here we got the the two back one two one two one two we don't have a three crack we have one two in cracks with a three dot let's see here one two i suppose that would allow us to pass a three bam if we do one two one two crack three dot okay here we go one two one two three it is harriet and then the next game i will share this strategy i've been working on today i actually dreamt of it i i woke up and i was dreaming about this strategy does anybody dream about mahjong <laughs> Because I, I keep wanting to bring something new to the channel. So I had a dream. But I think people probably already do this. Maybe it's just not really been articulated anywhere that I know of. So we'll see. Scrapo, scrap off kindness. Hi. You're like a, a newborn at this. All right. Welcome to the game. Hope to understand better watching the game. Excellent. Yes, that's exactly why I do this. And why Five everybody characters. comes back for more. Not just reading about it. Yeah, you got to get your hands dirty. You got to play with the tiles. And that includes playing online. So we're going to keep little numbers. Six dots. I, I think one, two, one, two, three. This would be the second hand Seven from the bottom dots. under consecutive Come. run. Is this sound on the computer Eight too dots. loud? We'll bring it down a bit. Okay, now there's a Kong of Ones. We might have to rethink this. Six bamboos. Hi, Evelyn, welcome. Oh, I want to say a, a shout out to our moderators. The moderators are anybody whose name is in blue with a wrench. Four Thank characters. you so much for helping monitor chat. It really is a big help. And we've been getting some trolls the last couple live streams, so we really appreciate your help. White dragon. You're kind of the armor bearer on this channel. Eight bamboos. One, two, three, four, maybe. Yeah, there's no gaps there. We'd have to discard a one Six dot characters. or one bam. What about if we get flowers? We could play Six one, two, bamboos. three mixed suit kongs. That would be the fifth Eight hand down dots. on the right. There's a flower, and that would allow us to leverage that that one one bam kong. Five so bamboos. let's pull off these extra tiles real quick and you can see the hand. Oh, we need the two crack in there. One, two, three dots. East wind. So this would be a discard. One, two, three, mix suit cost. Six bamboos. We are, we're not going to be able Eight to act characters. on anything though yet. Oh, there's another flower. So we definitely should play a flower hand here. One, two, three, mix suit Kongs. One, two, let's let the four go. Four we're gonna, dots. We're going to leverage the Kong of ones. What Six a backup. dots. One, two, bam, three, four, dot. One dot. Well, one, two, bam, three, four, dot. One dot. That could have worked. There's a, we'd have to throw away a pair of flowers, though, so... I try to find ways Seven to leverage bamboos. all the multiples. If we play one, two, three, mix suit Kongs, we can use every multiple. So let's just East see what wind. happens here. You see blue? Eight bamboos. I see blue. What do you mean, Evelyn? Five bamboos. Oh, there's a keeper for us. 
So let's see, one, two, one, two, three. Let's let the one dot go. One dot. So here we can cong the three dot anyway. Eight dots. Yeah, we need some help. Now, we may or may not need jokers. Four right characters. now there are no two cracks out and two no three dots. dots are out. We're going to pass on that. Somebody's hesitating on that two dot besides us. Six characters. So we might be able to use that in a bit if someone Six makes an exposure characters. with a joker. Two bamboos. Hi, Cindy. Welcome. Okay, so two bam is out. That's a good discard, I think. Three bamboos. White dragon. You know what I was just thinking? Could we play a year hand? We just got a white dragon here. One character. Let's see. Two, two, zero, two dot. One, two dot is out. Nine bamboos. Two, zero, two, one. Kong. That would leverage the Kong. If we can get... Oh, I discarded the one crack. Eight that bamboos. That was before we had the white dragon, though. Eight dots. All right, let's see what happens here. Five characters. His word is truth. I remember seeing you a couple weeks ago. Welcome. Terry. Okay, Terry. I'll have to try to remember Two to dots. connect Terry to your avatar name. I don't think I would take that. We're not strong enough with our singles. So I think we should go back to West Wind. one, two, three Mixuit Kongs. There's a Joker out here. West with Wind. Bam. Four crack we don't need. Four characters. Welcome to the live stream if you're just joining us. We're playing at Mahjong time. Mahjong Four time with bamboos. one G. If you're interested and if you haven't heard of it, it's a great platform. I love it because it, it looks wind. the most realistic. It almost feels like I'm playing at an actual table. That's why Three I, I like it. Three bamboos. That's one of the reasons why I like it. All right, so now we have a red dragon. I don't think that'll be helpful for us. Red dragon. Oh, Mosh Dreams. Oh, Kathleen, you have a recurring Mosh Dream where you are east and you're dealt a heavenly hand. Six oh, bamboos. But you fail to recognize it and pass away the tile. Two oh, characters. That's a nightmare. Okay, we're not ready for that two crack. Oh, bummer. Nine dots. All right, well, let's see if we can get a, a one crack back. Mahjong. Oh, we've got a winner here. So, all right, we have like numbers with nines. I, I actually like that category. Even though it's got specific numbers, like numbers is easy to build if you're mindful of like numbers. So we have like numbers with nines, the second one down. And then here we have like numbers with sevens. It's a popular category. Here we have news concealed probably. News concealed, I'm thinking. And they've got joker bait with ones and threes, I'm thinking with those. And then of course here, one, two, three, mix suit Kongs. All right, now, would you like to hear about this strategy that I've been working on today? And three out of four games I played, it went very well. And it's about reading hands. So, All right, is everybody with me on this strategy, this new strategy? Well, I think it, people probably already do it, but I need this help because I have a bad short-term memory. So I think this will help people read hands during the Charleston and maybe get some help with short-term memory. If you have a hard time with short-term memory, this might be interesting to you. So, if you need help with little gray cells, write hashtag help in the comment section below. Because I'm not sure if everybody can relate to me in this situation. 
Okay, yes, please, says Karen. Yes, 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 says June. Hi, Peggy, welcome. Evelyn, did I say hi? I'm sorry. Hi, Evelyn. I think you came in and it gave me that little trigger to say thank you, moderators. Pa hashtag help. Okay, so here's what I've been working on. And this is what I woke up from my dream. And it was very clear in my mind. I grabbed my iPad and I started taking notes. So this is, you know, the series of videos that I do called What Am I Playing? Where you have an exposure, one or two exposures, and you can figure out what someone is playing by process of elimination based on exposures and discards. This is like that but of course you have no exposures this is during the charleston and it's a way to remember the tiles being passed does anybody struggle with that the struggle is real for some of us okay so little gray what cindy little gray cells does anybody watch her watch hercule perot the murder mystery guy, the little pudgy French guy, Hercule Perot, he always talks about little gray cells, your brain. Gray matter, yes. Okay, so here's what I've been doing. I've been thinking about a, a phased approach to remembering the tiles being passed in the Charleston because I have a short-term short memory problem, like I said a minute ago. So... What I tested out today is three options for or for a phased approach to remembering the tiles in the Charleston. The first one I had the best success with. And this is, Kathleen says the struggle is real. Okay, excellent. All right, so here's how what I worked on. I picked the player in front of me, the player across from me and I focused on just their tiles during the Charleston. I still built my hand and I still passed defensively, but I didn't focus on the tiles being passed by the players to my left or right. I only focused on remembering the tiles for the player across from me. And the reason why I picked that position is because we get three passes with that player. So by process of elimination, we can figure out what their focus is with nine tiles giving us the information to make assumptions. So the first pass across, so we go right across and then left. So that first across, you look at those tiles and you make an assumption. So for example, one pass was a red dragon, seven bam, uh, one dot. So I'm thinking to myself, they're not playing big odds. They're probably not playing wins. And they're likely just not in, um, in um, maybe they're holding cracks. So those were some of the assumptions I made. So then we went through the Charleston and I got the next pass. And we got a south, a nine, and a seven in mixed suits. So I knew they were not playing big numbers. They were playing little numbers. One through five, they could maybe do consecutive run. They could maybe do one, three, five. Now they passed a one bam, so likely they're doing consecutive run in cracks, was my assumption with the second pass. Then in that third pass, it kind of confirms that focus because by process of elimination, remembering the tiles in those three passes, you can figure out what their focus is. And I was right three times out of four. I pegged their category during the Charleston. So when I passed them tiles, I was giving them their tiles back. So I had assumed that they were doing one through five, probably in cracks or dots. So I didn't pass them those tiles. It worked one out of four times. Let me know what you think about that. I'm gonna document, I already started documenting it and I'm calling it what, what, what am I playing is the name of the set of videos that I do. So I'm thinking about what are your opponents playing 
Charleston edition or something like that. I don't know. I got to get clever and figure out what to call it with as few words as possible. But that's what I worked on today. And I tried to add the player on my left. So as far as the phased approach, start with the player across from you. Focus on their passes and try to identify what their focus is by process of elimination. When you master that, add the player on your left because that's your first incoming pass. So once you've mastered the player across from you, add the tiles being passed by the player on your left. And then the third phase would be adding the player on your right. And at that point, you will have built the skill and then you'll be able to remember how to, by process of elimination, determine what the focus is of those opponents. That's one concept, that's one option. So let's do that with this next game. We'll focus on the player in front of us and then I'll share the other two options because there are two other options. There are layers, layers like an onion. All right, so it is defensive playing, defensive play during the Charleston. Opponent char Charleston strategy, says Jane. All right, well, we're gonna work on it and we'll, we'll name it together. Writing it all down. Excellent. It's gold. Awesome. I like that. Focus on one player's passes. Okay, and then we'll get to the next one. I just got chills. So it's resonating with people. So that means I got to do some videos on it. So I will do some videos on it. Um, let's see. Notice that the first and second left, I, uh, you gather information about the players. Doesn't guarantee. No, nothing's a guarantee. Um, and also... Here's a caveat. The one category that can, um, that is kind of a, I, I just want to do a disclaimer, would be the year because there's one, two that could be consecutive. So the fourth attempt was a year, um, I thought maybe they were doing little numbers or little odds and they did one, two year hand. Oh, and then another one actually was one, two concealed. So keep those in mind. That would be with year tiles. So um, if, if they're focused on little numbers, it might not be little odds, it could be one, two. Because there are, with one, two in the year this year, we have one, two, and then there's that concealed hand using two, two numbers. All right, so uh, Nespa, yes. Okay, Charleston player passes. Okay, keep the ideas coming. Let's join a table and I'll talk through what I went through today as I was kind of working through the strategy. Can't remember how that was spelled. Little gray cells. All right. All right, so we have two, two players at the table. Now we're gonna focus. We're gonna build our hand. That's the primary focus. Build your hand, still pass defensively to everybody, but focus on the tiles from the player across from you to gain information on what they're giving away in order to identify the focus of their hand. It could be a category, it could be multiple categories. And you also have to be careful with like numbers, incidentally, because like numbers, if they give you seven one and a red dragon, let's say, they could play any of those other numbers with like numbers in news or like numbers with flowers. So I think between the year category and like numbers, you got to keep those in mind. And then if they add, if the league adds the year or not the year, but um, if the league adds the math play into the mix next year, then that will also have to be taken into consideration because those numbers are kind of random and they may not quite work with this process of elimination theory. Yes, here we go. We're going to test the theory, brand new theory live. And again, this is for people who have a trouble with short-term memory. You know, people with uh, photographic memory and, and great short-term memory, this is not a problem for them. They can remember the passes, but uh, my, my memory is not like that. All right, so let's focus on our hand first. We've got a couple of jokers. We have a pair of sixes. I'm thinking we should try uh, three, 369 probably here. 369. Three, six, nine, 
and I always like to keep the, the winds for a little bit. All right, here we go. Maybe three, six, nine. All right, so this is first right. Now we're going to get an incoming pass from the player on our left. We're not going to focus on their tiles per se because we want to leave our mind open for the player across from us as the first phase of the method. We've got a keeper here with the three and we have a keeper with the nine. At this point, to free up tiles, I would go ahead and let the south go. So we're going to play uh, three, six, nine. We have a really nice representation, I think. Okay, Jane says, sounds fun. We do have another troll in here. It's another piece of data. Yep, hi, Sue. Oh, thank you, Carol. Yes, I want to be a better player, and I know everybody else in this community wants to improve as a player, too. So any of these ideas, if we could work them, work them out and... and um, do a proof of concept with them and show that the concepts are have good results then we need to document it and get it out there so people can have more fun at the game okay so we're we're passing we're, we're doing the cross pass so we're waiting for our cross player here and we're going to focus on their tiles and i'm going to talk through what goes through my mind when i see those tiles here we go Okay, one, seven, three. They're probably playing evens. So they're likely playing evens or two through five, three through six consecutive run. Could be in mixed suits, maybe even bands specifically because there were no bands in that pass. Here we have three, nine, three, nine, six, nine. I would not pass a pair. Let's see, three, three, six, nine, three, six, nine, mix suit. Three, six, nine, mix suit Kongs, maybe. Let's let the nine dot go. So we're going to remember they gave us a three dot, one crack, seven crack. So likely they're going to be in evens or they could be in consecutive run. The next pass from them will confirm the assumption. That's, that's the concept. So they want to do the Charleston some more. So do we. And we have tiles we can pass. So let's do one four south. Okay, now we're, we're doing second left. So we don't have to think about the tiles from the player on our right. Not yet. In the next phase, once we master the player across from us, then we'll add the other players. So it's kind of memory skill building, really. Okay, so here we do not have any keepers. So we'll pass three. Now we're going across. So now this is where it gets interesting because we got a three dot, a one crack, and a seven crack in their first pass. So let's see what they give us this time. I'm expecting big numbers, maybe no bands. No bands, and we got big numbers and a two. So that leads me to believe that they're either playing two through six, maybe, in BAMs, or they could be playing two, four, six, eight in BAMs. That's the idea here. We have a keeper with a nine again. I do not, I don't like passing like numbers though, so we're gonna let the nine dot go. Okay, so we're going right. It could be hard to spot 369, that's true. Because there are two numbers between each. Okay, now we're going across. And we do have three tiles to pass. They gave us the two dot. And I'm thinking they're in bands. Little numbers, up to six, maybe. They could still be doing something in mixed suits, though. So they went three, we're going to do three. And now this next pass is going to confirm the assumptions. Okay, here we go. All right, they're, they got to be in BAMs. Little BAMs, maybe 2468. 
and we'll find out. This is one bamboo. An, another time. Now we're in the peak and discard phase. So North wind. as the discards go around, you'll watch what they South discard wind. and see if there are any hesitations on BAMs up to six and evens. And that'll also confirm what North their focus wind. is. Red dragon. Now we do have a pair of six BAMs. They may want those. Seven bamboos. Okay, there goes a big BAM. Two dots. They didn't send wins. That's true. Now, one, one thing they could be doing is like numbers with two, th maybe one of the the BAMs, two through White six, dragon. as a like number with news. That was another Red dragon. Uh, kind of in the caveat when I was first kind of introducing the idea. Nine dots. So we got big numbers, still no little Nine BAM. characters. Or no evens either. Okay, now there's a Four, three, four. I don't think we're going to need that. Four. Characters. So the other thing uh, that I was thinking is if I draw tiles five that I characters. don't need, that five crack, we don't need that. If, if I draw tiles that our opponent may need based on those assumptions, Six characters. I would expedite those and discard those. Let's see West what happens. Wind. So we, let's see, five crack was discarded. Let's discard that. Five characters. You're welcome, Diane. Three characters. So still, okay, now I would probably, we have a gap. I don't, we're not going to take that. We could play three, six, six, nine. Five characters. But we have a gap, no six crack. I was thinking the first hand. Three, six, seven six, nine. Dots. We have a gap, no six crack. And someone just discarded a six crack. Okay, so now we have seven a three dots. dot. So I'm thinking maybe we can define this joker as a six dot and we'll play a gap hand. East wind. So let's see if we can try to get a six dot in here. Seven bamboos. We could at least maybe call Flower. the nine and the six. South wind. Six bamboos. Okay, so let's pung that. Pung. And then we're going to do outside in. We'll discard nine crack. Nine so edge characters. tiles, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. We'll let those go first. North wind. West wind. Okay, so they're discarding winds. Eight dots. There are three north south. They may have news if they're playing like numbers which is one of the caveats to the concept. Seven characters. Eight bamboos. Now, okay, they didn't even flinch at that eight bam. Seven characters. So my thought is maybe they're not doing two, six four, six, dots. eight. They could be doing consecutive run two through five, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six in bams. Okay, we're not ready to con that. One bamboo. So we'll have to watch those numbers in bams and see if there's a hesitation. Eight characters. And that will confirm the assumption. Nine dots. Still no, none of those tiles are coming out of their Six hand. Six characters. Okay, so good thing we didn't go with three crack. Five characters. And this is where you kind of target the, your opponent West in front of wind. you. You target the opponent in front of you because you can Eight bamboos. get information from three passes. We did get a three bam in here, but four dots. we can maybe use that as joker bait. We already discarded a nine. Nine crack. characters. There is a hand we could have maybe played if we kept that nine. East wind. And the nine dot two, that would have been three six is one, one dot. suit, and then pungs of nines in the other two suits. Okay, now there's a hesitation. One dot. One dot. Who's taking it? Kong. Okay, now one dot. So Red I thought maybe dragon. they were in BAMs. So we have a one dot Kong Eight now. Eight bamboos. All right, so we'll see. Maybe they're playing mixed suit Kongs. 
one, two, three, White two dragon. Kongs. If that if that is the case, three bam, which is kind of in the range of what they Eight weren't characters. passing. Maybe we can get a joker out of these. So right around Green Dragon. Maybe three more picks. We'll let a, a three bam go. Come. There are no two cracks out right now. Now they, they could be playing let's see. Oh, there's there's a oh we're already we're already committed with that six flower. Bam. Okay, so they didn't flinch at Two the, dots. One, the white dragon, so I don't think they're playing a year hand. Now, they Four might dots. have a single white dragon if they're playing a year hand. So the year Four hands dots. and like numbers are the ones that kind of can be a red herring for you in this particular theory. Nine characters. Uh, if you Eight get the characters. green dragon, okay, I see that East green wind. dragon is available. Flower. Oh, we don't need a three dot. Let's see here. Let's discard this three bam. Three bamboos. Okay, now there's a hesitation. Hesitation. Are we gonna get a Kong? Okay, so someone was not ready for that three bam. White dragon. Because they weren't ready for the three bam, I'm going to escalate this one and get rid Red of it next. Red dragon. Flower. Three bamboos. There, there's another hesitation. Very short, though, so that they, they didn't pick a joke one character. <laughs> to help them out. Okay. Too many variables. Six dots. There are variables. It will keep you on your toes, definitely. It's advanced. Two bamboos. We got a joker. Four characters. So now that'll help maybe with the six dot because there are two out. North wind. Two dots. Four dots. South wind. White dragon. Incidentally, earmark this comment. We're all brown belts here. Brown belts two with two characters. stripes and a brown belt with one stripe. So we're all kind of at the Seven same characters. level. Oh, six bam we already have. Six bamboos. Six two, dots. Three dot. Okay, six dot. We can Kong now. Let's go ahead and Kong. Kong. And then we'll throw our weak, our, our, um, this is a three dot. We already have those. Three so dots. It might seem like a risky tile, but we have all the rest. Four characters. It'd be nice to get that green Two dragon. bamboos. Okay, so two bam is out now. I'm I'm two thinking characters. Maybe. Now there's a hesitation. Are they gonna Kong? One, two, three, mix suit Kongs. No, they didn't take it. Maybe they just don't have enough six characters. Jokers, I guess, or they didn't pair up in time. We'll see when we get to the end of the game. We'll check out their hand. Eight characters. Two bamboos. I think they were working on consecutive tiles. They're letting go of two twos. characters. There's another hesitation with the two crack. They may switch to defense at this point. Six dots. We got our joker, and now we're three ready characters. To win on a nine bam. And of course, everyone's going to win. Because we have a pung and a kong. Three characters. No nine bams are out yet. They have like numbers, uh, one, two, one, one, two, one, like numbers. So that is one of the kickers with this particular method that you got to keep in mind like numbers and year tiles. So let's check this out. We have our winner, two, three, four, five, single pair Pong Kong Dragon. Very nice. And then here we'll look here. We have 
it looked like they were going to try for like numbers with ones and they did have a five ban and they even had a two crack which is why that they were hesitating on that two because they had jokers and the two but they couldn't get flowers so we you know they were kind of on the fray of what we were assuming we'll do it again and then i'll explain the next phase as an option so here we have five seven nine kongs of five nine pair of seven in the middle all right so we're gonna close here and then i'm gonna share the next option so the first option with a phased approach is to focus on the player across from you focus on their passes because there are three passes you can gain information from those three passes and figure out what their focus is the other idea works if you know the players at the table or if you are familiar in the tournament community and you know the really strong players and you target them you target the most experienced player at the table so black belts at mahjong time you would target them and anyone that you know is a strong player and that way you can mitigate the risk passing to them during the charleston so the second option is to target the most experienced player and that's what we'll do in this next one if it's clear and if i know the players at the table so there are a couple of ifs in there but the concept is the same you still look at their three passes but you don't know where they're seated so it could be on the player it could be the player on your left it could be the player on your right it could be the player across from you but you target the most experienced player and you try to gain information on their passes to figure out what their focus is and not pass them those tiles marcia says she prefers just focusing on passing defensively i agree well there's a third third option sue and we haven't gotten to that one yet so you would pick whichever one resonates with you so we talked about starting with the player across from you when you master that you add the player to your left when you master two then you add the player to your right and eventually you'll build your memory skills and have all three um, in the mix that's option one the second option is to prioritize by skill and target the most experienced player and let that be your your focus so we're going to do that here um, right now we have the highest belt so we'll wait and see uh, let's let's jump to this table he, uh, here now yellow eye is a really strong player and here we're going to be the strongest player so i don't know if it'll work here so let's let's focus on the player across from us and of course we're going to pass defensively no matter what but we're going to just focus on the tiles from the player across from us so let's see what we can focus on here we almost have news anytime we and anytime i see news like that almost news I think about like numbers because we have no multiples with number tiles so we're gonna see if we can pair up like numbers with news hi Jocelyn welcome yep Ruth that's another good strategy is remember what you pass the player on your left that's a really good strategy too for sure because then you don't want to pass them for example evens twice in a row or consecutive run in a range of four twice in a row all right so here we picked up a south so that's a multiple and we have a seven so i would focus on like numbers with sevens here or north and south with sevens now we're going across let's see what we're going to get from this player across from us now that first example they were playing like numbers so it was a little challenging to prove let's see if we can get some results out of this particular one and try to ascertain what category they are focusing on 
but again, we have to watch year tiles and like numbers. Keep that in mind. So we have 194, no bands. So that's the first bit of information, no bands. And we have two odds and an even. It's kind of the same situation, really. So 1.9.4 crack, that was their first pass. 1.9.4 crack. And let's see, we are going on, that was, this is, we went left, across, right, that was right. Now we're going second left. We're gonna keep going. So let's do one, eight crack, five dot. No keepers this time. Okay, so here comes our cross pass. 1.9.4 crack, that's what we got in the first pass. Nine dot again, and four crack. They must have had pairs and they're breaking them up. Still no bams. We did pick up an east, so we'll keep that. So we got east, four crack, nine dot. So no bams, no bams. No keepers. Okay, now we're gonna go across. So we don't really wanna pass them bams. They gave us a big number, a nine, nine dot. So let's give them a big number back. So we'll pass three. We'll give them a south five dot nine, nine bam. And, and we'll see, we'll get, get a little more information in this next pass. A little bam, three, one crack, eight crack. All right, so let's pat, let's discard one, one bamboo. Bam. So six characters, four, five, six bam. Think Kong. maybe they're playing. Okay, now there's a five six crack, dots. six crack Kong. Maybe they're playing two, four, six, eight of some kind. Kong of sixes. Five dots. There is. Um, there is White a dragon. hand under two, four, six, eight with a con of sixes. They could be doing One a consecutive dot. run. They might be doing three, six, nine. In which case, I'm going to discard this three bam next. South wind. Okay, we have news, so we're good there. Pair hand. Red dragon. Okay, so there's a six dot. Let's three bam. Now they could be playing like numbers for all we know. Let's escalate the six dot. Somebody else has an east at the table. Nine bamboos. Because there was a hesitation there. Nine dots. I'm wondering if they're playing three, six, nine. Did you see that hesitation? Six dots. And there's another hesitation. They may be playing. And we didn't get sixes from them. Nine we dots. We did get a three bam from them. Seven they could be characters. Doing three, six, nine mixed suit Kongs. So let's do Kong on the seven. Kong. And we'll let maybe the one crack go. One character. What if they have multiple jokers? Yeah, that could be two. Jokers could um, be a challenge Eight with the theory. Dots. But um, it's been fun working it out. Red dragon. And it's exercising my little gray selves. Four characters. Okay, five crack was going around the Charleston, and it wasn't discarded, so Pung. somebody kept it. Okay, five, six. So they're playing consecutive run. Flower. Five, six. Now they could be doing three, four in bams, although they, they passed a three bam. So they could be th doing three, Nine four dot, characters. five, six crack. Three, four dot, Nine maybe. Nine characters. Eight dots. Let's see, five, six, Pong Kong. 
Or they could win. be on the bigger end, and they could be doing five, six, seven, eight in bands or seven, eight in dots. Now, there are Four two eight characters. dots out, so I don't think that's what they're doing. They could be doing nine bamboos, three, four in dots, one character, or seven, eight in two bands. dots. That's my guess based on what they passed. Four characters, eight characters. And we, have, we have sevens in here, so if they have a seven band for a pung. Five, six, seven, Flower. eight, let's say, then we may not see a seven band. Kong. All right. I would not. North let's wind. Let's see if we can get a flower. We did. We got a flower. So in that case, two, is this, are these, yeah, that is a. Flower. Okay. We're not going to, we're going to get that joker. Two characters. We could always, there are eight flowers. We could hopefully come by another flower. And Two now characters. We're ready to con the seven. Eight characters. And I'm going to let the seven bam go. So it'll be interesting to see if there's a hesitation Five on dots. it. We're going to let it go now. Seven bamboos. And there's a hesitation. Pung. There it is. Five, six, Flower. seven, eight. Bams and cracks. Five bamboos. It'd be nice to draw a flower at this point. White Hi, dragon. Taylor. Welcome. So they're playing five, six, seven, eight. They need eight bams. Seven bamboos. Four characters. There's Two only, dots. There's only one more flower left. Four bamboos. Maybe taking that flower wasn't a good idea. We would have Pung. had a pair. West wind. We might have to switch to... Oh, there we go. We're ready now. North wind. Okay, so we're ready on a one flower. One bamboo. Two, four, five, six, seven. There's one more left. One bamboo. The player across from us will, won't need it. And we have a long wall. So one dot. I'm expecting that the flower will go down. So here we can get our seven, seven characters. Back. Let's just let's see here. Let's discard the Joker. We have just one Kong out, Joker. so no one will be able to figure out what we're playing. Nine dots. So we just need that flower. Flower. Yeah, there it is, Mahjong. We got it. Mahjong. All right, ooh, they had a pure hand going. All right, so it, it, in this case, it worked. We were able to figure out that they had some bams. They weren't passing them, and they were playing consecutive run five, six, seven, eight. And then let's see, over here, we have um, two, four, six, eight in bams. They needed two, eight, which is gonna be a challenge because right here is where the eights were. So they, they would have had a hard time with that eight bam hand. And then here we have two, four, six, eight. And then they have all those dragons there. Maybe they were hoping for flowers, but when the Kong went out, that would have made it kind of cringy for them. If they were gonna do two, four, six, eight singles with opposite dragons, they would have needed red dragons and they were out. But they maybe could have used jokers all right, so four, five, six, seven, red dragon. Maybe it could have been that. Um, let me think though. But they, the thing is, is they passed four crack twice in the Charleston. They passed two four cracks and two nine dots. So. That's why I didn't think it was four, five, six, seven. And there are two red dragons out. All right, so now the, let's see here. We talked about picking the player across from you and adding the other players when you're comfortable. We talked about targeting the most experienced player at the table. And then the other one is the hardest one. 
and this is where you take it by rounds. So you try to remember the tiles from all three players in the first Charleston to figure out the initial focus and then add the second Charleston when you're comfortable memorizing those nine tiles. And that's the one I had the hardest time with. So that's the concept. It is, it is a lot. Um, and there are variables that you have to consider. So this would not be a, a strategy I would introduce to new players. This would be for experienced players who have a, a, a challenge with short-term memory specifically. Oh, thank you, Jocelyn. Guest is not a robot. There are a couple of players who have the name Guest in the game. I've seen that a, a few times. Oh, thank you, Diane. Oh, thank you, Carol. All right, so let's let that strategy go. We'll stop talking about it now, but it's, it's something to think about. If you have a short-term memory issue, consider trying some of those ideas and let me know if it helps you. So now let's just focus on our hand and passing defensively to everybody. So we do have north and south. We have a multiple with sevens. That's where I would start. I'm thinking like numbers with sevens, maybe six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run. We could maybe do five, seven, nine big odds. And that left us with tiles to pass. You need help remembering what people discard. Okay, so Marsha, online, if you play at Mahjong time, it's actually fairly easy because 10% of the tiles, or let's see, it's 90% of the tiles in front of each player were discarded by them. And then 10% of their discards are on the fray or kind of across from them or to the right. That's what Slava told me. So you can do, you can kind of use that information online. In a live game, tiles get pushed around when the walls come out. So it's, it's harder to do in person. Did I say online? In person, because walls get pushed around. Okay, so here we have a lot of five, seven, nine. So I think we should let the wins go and build on five, seven, nine. Thank you, Carol. Okay, so we got seven, eight, nine in here now. Seven, eight, nine. There's a nice run in there now. So let's let the south go for sure. We have five, um, five, seven, seven, nine, five, seven, seven, nine, eight, and nine. Let's focus on two suits. And here we have five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. I think I'm going to pass blind. We could do seven, eight, nine, or we could do five, seven, seven, nine here. There's a hand right there. Five, seven, seven, nine, no gaps. But we also have eight, nine. If we can get a six bam, I'd be interested in that first consecutive hand with big numbers. That's what I was thinking, Cindy. 5779, seven, Pong Kong, Pong Kong. Let's see where we build up. We got a nine bam. Let's see, so we did get six, seven, eight, nine, but we have a Pong in there of sevens. Okay, so Pup's mom, it looks like they're having technical trouble so here we're going to have to make a choice. I'm thinking we need to pass three. So I think we should focus on five, seven, seven, nine. I personally don't pass flowers. Five, seven, seven, nine. So let's let the nine bam go. I also don't like passing pairs. So we'll focus on five, seven, seven, nine.
she shuffles the discards with her hands like she puts her hands in the middle of the table is that what you mean oh maybe we can get the nine dot back we could play the concealed hand five seven five seven nine dot pair oh this is the last game and then we're going to switch to siamese mahjong oh i kind of would like to get that that nine dot back you never know or we could get a six dot and play five six seven mix suit kongs <laughs> yeah oh no we didn't get it but we do have tiles we can pass <coughs> Okay, so we're going to pass one, three, four. They're gone. It looks like they're having technical trouble. If we can get a six dot, we could do five, six, seven mixed suit cons. Oh, I was hoping we could get that nine dot back. One character. All right, so maybe seven dots. Let's see, eight band. Eight maybe bamboos. Somebody kept the eight bands. One dot. Yeah, I I do that, Marsha. I don't like the Three tiles bamboos. in front of the wall either, because if Nine you're on the bamboos. other side of that wall, you can't see the tiles. So Eight I usually dots. pull them away from the wall, but keep them where, kind of where they are relative Eight to the other bamboos. tiles. And that way the person on the other side of the tiles or the Four wall bamboos. can see them. But it is good to try to keep the integrity Eight of bamboos. the discards in, intact. Let's see. Four bamboos out. Four bamboos. Okay. Two dots. Nine dots. West wind. Okay, so let, let's let this Four flower dots. go next. Five, seven. Five, seven, crack, seven, nine, bam. North wind. Five, seven, seven, nine. Our nine band nine is really dots. weak, and there's already one out. So there's the nine Eight dot characters. that was going around in the Charleston. Here's nine crack now. Flower. So we have, we could do Kong. five, seven, bam, seven, nine crack, because there's a West nine win. bam out. Eight characters. Let's see. Five, seven, crack. Five characters. No, no, no. Seven, nine crack. We'll pass on that. Maybe someone will Kong with it, but they didn't. Four characters. So we have five, seven, bam, seven, nine, crack here. Seven characters. Let's Pung. Pung. So we can let the nine, bam, go. Nine bamboos. All right. We can use any number of seven jokers bamboos. with this. We'll Kong. Kong. And no one wanted that five, crack. Five characters. Nine dots, four characters. East wind. Oh, we have a pure pun there, so these are not seven characters. Good tiles to keep, good discards. West wind. Two bamboos. So we won't be able to act until we get a little Kong. help from the wall. Four dots. We need a five bam or a nine crack in here. Joker would be nice. One bamboo. Four bamboos. Red dragon. One dot. Six dot. None are out. Six dots. <laughs> Marsha, 
Who has all the jokers? Not us. Two dots. I would love to have a joker. It would help with the five bands. Red He's dragon. Crack. We do have a East pair of wind. threes we don't need, so I'm holding on to that. Maybe we can get a joker out of it. We did get a seven dot. Five characters. It's out though. Nobody wanted it right there. Flower. Okay, now that's number six or number five. Let's see, two, three, two, four, five. Eight so there dots. Are three more out. Three more flowers. Flower. There's now. There's only two left. Someone needs a pair. Two no characters. That can be painful. Four when the flowers dots. go down, and you need a three pair. bamboos. Six bamboos. Okay, we need a keeper. Kong. Oh, oh, there's jokers. White though. dragon. There's a couple jokers out there, but they're risking two jokers, South which leads wind. me to believe that they're close. Six bam Kong. They could be playing like Nine numbers with characters. sixes. Okay, we're not ready for that. Two dots. They could be playing like numbers with sixes, or uh, they could be playing six bamboos. One suit Kongs. Pair Pong Kong, like numbers with sixes. They go. All right, very good. We'll give them a kudos or a very nice. I saved kudos for pair hands or a quince, or maybe a concealed hand or a jokerless hand. Otherwise, I just put VN, very nice, very nice. Over here, we have like numbers with fives and news. It's a very popular category. And then here we have, it looks like, a year hand and they couldn't get flowers maybe they would try for two dot or two bam in there probably nope they're all out so they were they had a little trouble here with this potential oh they're doing one two three four so they're one away one two pong kong pong kong so they weren't off too badly all right, so we're going to exit stage right, and then we're going to come back for some Siamese Mahjong. Thank you, everyone, for coming to the live stream. If you haven't played at Mahjong time, I hope you give it a thought. Come try it out. Look for my email in the video description below, and I can send you information about the VIP trial. Thank you again, moderators, for helping with chat tonight. We'll be back in about... Well, lickety split because it's already 7.04. So we'll be right back with Siamese Mahjong. Oh, you're welcome, Sue. Thank you. You're welcome, Cindy. Give it all a try, you guys. If, if you have trouble with short-term memory, let me know if it helps you. And um, if, if it resonates with people, I'll do a series on it and try to articulate it and document it. Maybe test it out a little bit more and maybe try to simplify the the process so it's not overwhelming because it can be a little overwhelming it's basically a progressive approach to memory skills so um, yes please everyone if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing and sharing with your community if you do subscribe to the channel please give us a thumbs up that helps the algorithm at YouTube so people can find us and we can help grow the community together between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.